And Aaron, that flag was put up by an electrician replacing the lights here in the Target parking lot. He had one job to do, but he went a step further by flying his political views high atop this light post. The pro-Trump flag wasn't up very long. As soon as shoppers saw it, many started complaining. That's not an appropriate place for a political flag to be. And irregardless of which side you're on, I think there are better ways to display your political views. I don't think that that's an appropriate thing for a mall, flag for a mall to fly at all. The flag was put up by these employees from a lighting company called Have Lights Will Travel. The company, based out of Nevada, was hired by Target to replace parking lot lights with LED ones. But the installers decided to air their political views by installing the Trump flag, which also read, no more BS. That's a cuss word. So children have to see that. That's wrong. It really says that? I, I'm sorry, I have to get out and see that. That really bothers me. But as soon as Target management learned of the flag flying, they immediately demanded it be removed. One employee with the lighting company thought it wasn't an issue. I'm allowed to have my political views, right? You can have a Biden sticker on your car, but I can't have a Trump flag. Right, but this is like private property and this is the general area that everybody comes and shops. Okay, then I'll put it on my truck. The installer took the flag down only to attach it to his cherry picker. When Action News contacted the lighting company, his bosses also ordered the Trump flag down. But no irony is lost on the employee who supports a president who doesn't believe in climate change. I mean, I'm impressed that they put those flags on top of new energy efficient lights. I guess I could, I could give them kudos for that. <laughs> Now, a service manager at that company, again called Have Lights Will Travel, said that employee put that pro-Trump flag up without company approval, and he made it very clear that the actions and political views of that employee don't necessarily reflect those of the company. Aaron, Dan. All right, thank you, Felix. San City Police say they said that they did get several calls regarding the Trump flag, but since it happened on private property, it was out of their jurisdiction.